Hi, uh, this is me, Robinus Regents from Global Wings, IELTS and OIT Academy at Kidabor. Uh, in this video, the main purpose is how to increase your score in IELTS writing essay. Okay, how to get very good band like 8.5 or 8 plus band. Okay, just if you have a little concentration, obviously you can gain that score. Let me explain how to uh, meet that score. Okay, it is nothing but by meeting the scope of your essay, you can uh, get the highest score in your IELTS essay writing. So, let me explain what do you mean by that scope of essay or boundary of essay. While you write an answer for the question or essay, obviously you should be in topic or you should be in the boundary of the question. So, let me explain what do you mean by boundary or what do you mean by the scope of essay with the help of two uh, questions. So, uh, look, at, uh, look at the board. Capital punishment should be given for criminals. Do you agree or disagree? This is my question. So, I hope you will understand the meaning of the question. Capital punishment should be given for criminals. So, here we have two boundaries that capital punishment and criminals. See, these are the boundaries of our essay or this particular question. Capital punishment. The question is about capital punishment and not just even punishment. So, while we write answer, maybe in the first introduction paragraph you may write about capital punishment and while you write uh, your body paragraph knowingly or unknowingly you may write about just punishment they are not asking about punishment they are asking about capital punishment punishment is pala vidamana mild punishment and appal ibada cholichirikkunna capital punishment aanu so throughout your essay you should mention capital punishment or its synonyms Along with that, one more boundary, criminals. See, uh, automatically if you write that capital punishment must be given for people. Uh, it is entirely wrong because general are criminals Allah. So, you should use their criminals along with a synonymous too. This is, this is what the boundary of that essay. If you could meet that boundary or if you could meet that scope, obviously you could get very good score in IELTS essay writing. Uh, of further clarification, I'll explain one more example. Increased population creates several issues in developing nation. So here we have boundary that increased population and developing nation. If you write just about population, okay, we have the importance of the population. That's why you say that you emphasize the population. But if the population is increased, population is population in our society, nation, issues in Dakunilla, increased population. So you should use the synonymous of exactly increased population and throughout your essay you should mention that along with that developing nation next boundary of your essay is developing nation paladaram countries are there okay, developing nation and developed nation and any underdeveloped nation under. and if you write your answer that increased population would create some negative impact in Alingalone countries, it would be wrong. You should write that developing countries. Okay, you should write, you should be in the boundary that is developing country. Hope you could understand what do you mean by the boundary of the question or what do you mean by the scope of essay. This is the boundary of scope of essay. Maybe on the DV type of another tendency. So I will give a small tip on that. Whenever you get the question, read it carefully and identify the boundary of the question and essay uh, short note So you can write down short notes on your boundary. For example, capital punishment and criminals. Just write down those keywords 
by the side of your paper and while you write essay you can have on your key like whether you are deviating it from or not in such a way if you maintain obviously you can gain very good score so idu monakulla useful useful aayittulla tips aayittu global wings ielts and oit academy eppadi ningalde kodathil undavu നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡൗട്ട് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ കമൻറ്റ് ബോക്സിൽ അത് ചോദിക്കാവുന്നതാണ് അപ്പോൾ ഇതുപോലെയൊക്കെയുള്ള സ്മോൾ ടിപ്സിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ വേറെ ഒന്നും ചെയ്യേണ്ട ഗ്ലോബൽ വിങ്സ് എയിൽസ് ആൻഡ് ഒ ടി അക്കാഡമി എന്ന പേജ് ലൈക്ക് ചെയ്യുക ഫോളോ ചെയ്യുക അതുപോലെ തന്നെ നമ്മുടെ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഗ്ലോബൽ വിങ്സ് എയിൽസ് ആൻഡ് ഒ ടി അക്കാഡമി എന്നുള്ള യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനലും കൂടി ഒന്ന് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ